Hello everyone and welcome back to Jackalit Educational Channel. So this is the time to reveal the results for the quiz contest which was conducted on 7th of February 2022. So this environmental science quiz is conducted every week on Monday on this platform to prepare ourselves for the environmental science entrances and to know something about our environment. So those who don't know the rules for this participation, let's move on to the next slide. So these are the rules for participating in this quiz contest. You can pause this video and go through all these rules. And yes, you can also become the top performer of the month and cash prizes will be awarded to the top performer from all the combined weekly quiz performance. So let's discuss the questions first. The first question was which among the following are biofertilizers? And in the options were rhizobium, azotobacter, mycorrhiza and azola. So here among the four options, the correct option will be option number D. All these four, that means rhizobium, azotobacter, mycorrhiza and azola. So all these are the examples of biofertilizer. And let's know a bit more about these biofertilizers. So these are very, very important for the plant production and their yield. So these are the biofertilizers incorporated in India's fertilizer control order. That is FCO in 1985. And here, blue-green algae such as Nostuck, Anabena, Tolipothrix and Olocera, they fix atmospheric nitrogen. So these names you should remember that what are blue-green algae, they are Nostuck, Anabena, Tolipothrix and Olocera, they fix the atmospheric nitrogen and are used as inoculants for the paddy crop. That means for the rice crops, they are used as inoculants, so they are the biofertilizers. And Azola, so Azola is also known as mosquito fern, we all know that, if you don't know you should note down. It has been used as a companion crop for paddy for at least a million. So here companion crop, what is the meaning? That means the crops which are sown together to gain advantage in yield or crop protection from the pest are called as companion crop. For example, the corn crop is sown along with the beans. Because if we plant together, if we sow together, then they will yield together more production. So they are the example of companion crop, such as Azola, which is a companion crop for the paddy production. So I hope you have noted down all these things. Let's move on to the next question. Second question is on our screen. The question is which among the following are protected by the Wildlife Protection Act in India? So when was the Wildlife Protection Act? It is 1986. So we all know that. You should remember if you don't know. The options were sea cows, sea cucumber or sea fan. So these three organisms all are protected under the Wildlife Protection Act. So option D will be correct. That means sea cows, sea cucumber and sea fan are the protected species under Wildlife Protection Act in India. Let's move on to the next question. The next question number three is which of the following statements is or are incorrect about the global environment facility that is GEF. So here you should be attentive that here it is mentioned incorrect. So here the options were it was established on the eve of Rio summit that is in 1992 and it serves as a financial mechanism for the CBD. So here none of these will be incorrect because both these statements are correct regarding GEF that is global environment facility. So none of these are incorrect will be the correct option for this question. So we'll know a bit more about the global environment facility and here is the screen where you can note down. So here this global environment facility which is in short called as GEF it is a non-governmental organization based in the Washington DC United States and it addresses six areas. Yes these are important. What are the areas? The areas are biodiversity, climate change, international water, ozone depletion, land degradation and the related issues for persistent organic pollutants. So these six areas are addressed through the Global Environment Facility which is an NGO and it also serves as a financial mechanism for many conventions related to environment that are Convention on Biological Diversity that is CBD, United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, United Convention to Combat Desertification, Stockholm Convention on persistent organic pollutants as well as it is the financial mechanism for the Minamata Convention on Mercury Pollution. So these are important. It is the financial mechanism for all these environmental convention. Next thing is this GEF was established on the eve of 1992 Rio summit 
to help tackle our planet's most pressing environmental problems. So what are these problems? We have discussed here six areas. So let's move on to the next slide and I hope you have noted down. So here the question four was the white rainbow code of biotechnology denotes what? So this question was new for some of you and here the correct option will be what? The correct option will be the white rainbow code of biotechnology denotes industrial biotechnology. Yes. What are these things? We'll know in the next slide. So white biotechnology or industrial biotechnology relies on application of biocatalysis in industrial process. Yes, it is focusing on the application of biocatalysis in the industrial process and they are used widely in chemical, pharmaceutical, cosmetic, paper, textile, tanning and food industries as well as in the power industries. And this white biotechnology pays special emphasis on the use of renewable substrates. Yes, renewable substrates and environmentally friendly process is the main emphasis given in this white biotechnology. That's why we have included this concept in this quiz question. Let's move on to the final question. The final question was in which of the following type of ecological pyramids the individual in each tropic level are weighed. So kinka vazan ko hum measure karte hain in which of the following ecological pyramids and here the correct option will be option number B in the case of pyramid of biomass. Yes, here in case of pyramid of biomass the individual species in each tropic level are weighed instead of being counted as in pyramid of number. So in case of pyramid of numbers, we are counting the number of individual, but in case of pyramid of biomass, we are weighing them. So it gives us the total dry weight of all organisms at each tropic level at a particular time. So what does it gives? It gives us the dry weight, total dry weight of the organisms living at each tropic level at a particular time. So now it's time to reveal the results for this quiz contest. So here are the top 5 performers for this week's quiz contest. Akash Kumar, KC and Shaw. They have secured 5 out of 5 marks. Congratulations to all of you. And also Usman Ali and Bhavik Bhagya. They have secured 4 out of 5 marks correctly. So congratulations to all of you. Thanks for participating in this quiz. And yes, if you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Subscribe the channel to get all further updates. No need to worry about the exam, how it will be and all. Just give your 100% believe in yourself. Yes, if you have 100% belief in yourself, then nobody can stop you to conquer the success. So that's the thing I wanted to tell you. All the very best for the examination. My good wishes are always with you. All the best. Take care. Keep smiling. See you guys in our next video.